Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, David Dodge. And today I am joined by a really, really good friend of mine, Mr. Eric Hatch. I've known Eric for probably around five years at this point, and he is not only an awesome human, but a kind soul and a beast in the in, in business. Dodge, I absolutely love you. You're one of the most positive, awesome people I've ever met in my life. And I'm so grateful to call you a friend, man. Hey, likewise, man. Thank you for being here today. Hey, thanks, All right. This buddy. podcast is short and sweet. We're going to jump on in. There's five or six questions that we ask every guest. And, you know, we may have some follow-up questions to these, but they're pretty straightforward. And I have not given Eric or any of the guests these questions prior. So here we go. Number one, what was your biggest financial mistake or setback? And how did you recover from it? Oh, okay. Uh, I found myself in 2013. I had gotten kicked out of the brokerage that I was a part of. And I, I had a team of 13 people and I went to all of them. I'm like, all right, I got kicked out, but let's go start over here. And everybody said no, except for two people, uh, one admin and one agent. So I was, I, I mean, just a huge financial blunder, of course, but I ended up getting into a business relationship. I went to a, uh, what I refer to as a short-term girlfriend. Uh, you know, it was, it was a, or excuse me, it was a rebound girlfriend for a short-term period of time. And so I went there for nine months and sold houses there, made a terrible uh, business relationship and uh, agreed to pay them a split of $100,000 just for letting me hang my license there. When I left, they didn't like how I left. And I certainly have learned a bunch of lessons about uh, how to do this at the end. But when I left, the owner was so upset with me. He sat across from a table, told me and berated me for hours on how much of a piece of garbage I was. And he ended the conversation by saying, I'm going to make you effing pay for this. And he ended up keeping $130,000 in commissions that were owed to me. So uh, about a quarter of a million dollar business mistake by alignment with that one wrong person in a nine month period. That was that was 10 years ago. That one still stings a little bit. Uh, and yet I am learning how to uh, right those wrongs by making sure I don't treat people that same way. Man, I love the lesson there. Yeah. You know that you can actually move forward with that. And I always start with the biggest financial mistake because I just personally feel like some of the best lessons you know, we're actually mm-hmm. from the mistakes that we make, not necessarily the the home runs that we hit, right? Yeah. So. I, here's here's how uh, here's how I'll correlate that is I think partnerships are so important in this industry, uh, regardless of what industry you're in. I think that partnerships can help you go faster and farther. Uh, it's not it, they're not mutually exclusive, right? You can't just go fast and you can't just go far. You find the right partnership and you can do both. But if you're getting in bed with someone because it means that there is a big financial upside to it, but if you don't align with the person with how you view the world and how you treat people and and everything else, uh, that for me is it's a minor form of prostitution that you're willing to sell part of yourself for the financial gain and benefit of it. And, And so for me, David, I've I've learned deep, deep lessons on getting aligned with the wrong partners. And I've also learned some incredible lessons about getting aligned with the right partners. Amen. Amen. I I can't agree more.